Hi, my name is Julesy Capon and I am 29 years old, born and raised in the DC area. And I'm here at Jemsic Clinic and I just want to give you a little background on my story. So when I was 13, I got plagued with debilitating fatigue. Um, I was in eighth grade and I wasn't able to hang out with friends anymore, or go to soccer practice. Um, I just had to sleep all day after school and went to doctor after doctor and they finally said it was mono, but it wasn't going away. So years and years, I knew it wasn't mono, but the doctors kept just saying nothing was wrong, nothing was wrong. Um, when I was 18, I started getting horrible pain, um, lower stomach pain, and they found out that I had pretty bad endometriosis. So I had two or th I think three surgeries um, to remove the endometriosis on my ovaries and I had a bunch of cysts they needed to um, remove. Then I think a year later I got diagnosed with Crohn's. Um, huge long story, I just had a bowel resection um, on my small intestine, but yeah, Crohn's disease. And so for the Crohn's treatment, they put me on an immunosuppressant and then that is when all of my Lyme symptoms started happening and that's when my world basically got turned upside down. Um, so about three years ago, one day, I woke up and I couldn't move my legs and they rushed me to the ICU um, and they did a million, million tests and they ended up telling me that I had conversion disorder, which meant it was psychological and I knew that wasn't right. Um, I couldn't walk, I was tremoring, I was having seizures, I, I'm a therapist myself psychotherapist, so I know about psychological disorders and I knew this is not what was going on. So I saw a neurologist, cardiologist, nephrologist, no answers. I went to the Cleveland Clinic, stayed there for a week, no answers. Um, so finally I went home, I was so defeated, I was about to give up, and I happened to see the Netflix video, or maybe it was on Prime Video, I'm not sure, but um, under our skin, I think that's what it's called. And I was like, oh my god, this is me. This is what I have. And I saw Jemstick in the video, and I immediately researched him, and I thought he was still in North Carolina from the video, but I was ready to jump in my car and go. Um, but I couldn't believe he was in D.C., and I was in D.C. Made an appointment that day. Um, called and made an appointment, and got in next week. And it was the first time that a practice has ever listened to me. Um, they spent three hours with me, went through my whole history. They never once even mentioned the thought of a psychosomatic um, issue going on. And um, I just cried in joy because I felt, I felt heard. So after I had my first consultation at the Jumpsick Clinic, they um, needed to stabilize me because I wasn't sleeping well. I had some other issues. I did, you know, get my gallbladder out because um, that was pretty inflamed from the Lyme. So once I was stabilized, um, I started IV therapy. And my IV therapy lasted 11 months, so a little bit on the longer side. And what would happen um, is every, every month I would come in here and um, they would try... They would do a test trial for a few antibiotics to make sure that your body can handle it. And it's in the office, and the nurse is right by there, and there's doctors on staff if anything goes wrong. Um, if everything goes okay, your body handles it, then you go home, and Jemsic will give you a protocol. For instance, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he'll tell you to do this antibiotic. And then Tuesday, Thursday, you'll do um, a lactated rim ringer, which means you're... Uh, flushing your systems with fluids. Um, and then you come back the next month, he gives you a different protocol, different antibiotics, different days you're supposed to do what? Um, same third month, fourth month, fifth month, and not gonna lie, it's pretty brutal, the side effects. Um, some months were worse than others, but there was a lot of nausea and vomiting and tiredness. But what I learned is that that's actually a good thing. And Jemsic told me that's a Herx reaction. So basically, if you feel sick, that's the Lyme bacteria um, getting out of your system. So basically, toxins that are released and that can make you feel so sick. So on the days that were my hardest, I wanted to give up so badly. 
but I kept saying, this means it's working. Um, and that's what I think a lot of patients don't understand is they give up because it's too hard and they feel too sick. Uh, but to have the fight and the courage to keep going till the end and to be strong and say that this will pay off, um, I think that's the thing that I would like to tell people the most. Three years later today, I would say I'm 90% cured um, and Jumpsick did that. And I will be forever grateful that I found him.